Today, we will delve into a highly interesting topic, what happens to the compressor, when the R410A refrigerant, is replaced with R32 gas, in a functioning air conditioning unit. We will examine the key points as follows, 1. Lubrication 2. Amperage 3. Cooling capacity 4. Discharge temperature 5. Safety 1. Lubrication Both our 410A and our 32 use PO oil. However, due to its solubility, PO oil with our 32 tends to have lower viscosity compared to PO oil with our 410A. Therefore, replacing our 410A with our 32 can affect lubrication efficiency in certain cases. The viscosity of the oil in the compressor might be slightly higher than what's required for our 32. The viscosity stability index of the oil used with our 32 is usually higher than that of the oil needed for our 410A. Remember that the viscosity index is a parameter indicating the oil's ability to maintain constant viscosity as temperature changes. The best viscosity indexes are greater than or equal to 100. 2. Amperage. The electrical current of the compressor will be affected by the change from our 410A to our 32. Ideally, the nominal electrical consumption of the compressor should be maintained, representing the equipment's characteristics when operating with our 410A. Studies have shown that to achieve this nominal consumption value, the equipment should be loaded with only 90% of the weight indicated for the R410A charge. A load value exceeding 90% will lead to an increase in the compressor's electrical consumption beyond the nominal value, which can result in abnormal compressor heating and a loss of equipment lifespan. This is because changing to R32 will lead to an increase in the mass flow rate of the refrigerant, resulting in an increase in discharge pressure. This rise in discharge pressure will cause an increase in electrical current and, consequently, in input power. 3. Cooling Capacity The cooling capacity provided by the compressor will also be affected by the change from R410A to R32. For instance, as shown in the graph, at a 90% load in grams relative to the R410A charge, there will be a decrease in cooling capacity of around 10%. In the graph example, cooling capacity will drop from 2.4 kW to 2.2 kW. Similarly, at a 95% load in grams relative to the R410A charge, there will be an increase in cooling capacity of about 5%, but with higher electrical current consumption than nominal. At a 100%, Loading grams relative to the R410A charge, the same cooling capacity as the original equipment, will be maintained, but with higher electrical current consumption than nominal. At a 105%, loading grams relative to the R410A charge, there will be a decrease in cooling capacity, of about 5%, but with higher electrical current consumption, than nominal. 4. Discharge Temperature With this change, the refrigerant temperature at the compressor's discharge outlet will notably increase, potentially affecting the compressor's lifespan. 5. Safety. It is not advisable for safety reasons to switch from R410A to R32 without the manufacturer's authorization even though R32 is slightly flammable. 